guys. Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe. I went to Hobby Lobby today and look what I found. I found this adorable lemon placemat and it's in the spring shop and right now they're 50% off but original price is only $2.99. So you know what I'm going to make with this lemon placemat, I bet. Here's my Dollar Tree splatter screen. And then I also picked up this ribbon at Hobby Lobby. And you're going to need some floral stem wire, your wire cutters, and your scissors for this lemon splatter screen wreath. First, you will want to remove the knob off of your splatter screen and this little lemon placemat fits perfectly over the splatter screen. Next, you'll want to take some floral stem wire and I just cut a piece in thirds and this is the 20 gauge floral stem wire. And you're just going to take your lemon placemat and you're going to wire it onto your splatter screen. So just line it up and the wire should go through very easy because the placemat has holes in it too. So just Thread your wire through on each side and then go to the back and give the wires a few twists. I'm going to add a wire at the top, at the bottom, and then the left and the right side. So four wires. So I just thread it through the placemat and the splatter screen going to just be very patient. It should go through just fine. Then go to the back and give it a few twists. Okay, this is how it looks on the back with four wires. Now you can cut a piece of felt to cover the back of the wreath so that the splatter screen does not scratch your door. This is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to cut six strips at 13 inches. Okay hey guys, so here's my six strips and you'll need a pipe cleaner also. So you're going to take your first strip of ribbon and you're going to make a loop and then just pinch it together and leave a little bit below your fingers. Okay, same way with all six strips. Just make a loop, gather it together and then add it to your left hand. And remember, leave a little bit below. Try to make your loops about the same size each time and use all six strips of ribbon. Now I am ready to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it just above my fingers. And I want to get the pipe cleaner as tight as I can around the ribbon. If you want to dovetail the ends, just take your ribbon, fold the ribbon in half with the edges to the left side, go to your fold, and cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V's on the end. I like to take some of the tails and put on the left side and some on the right. Now, I didn't leave much of a tail for this bow, but I do like to kind of separate them, spread them out still. Okay, so now we're ready to fluff the loops on our bow. So just kind of shape your loops. And it, sometimes it takes a little bit to get the bow shaped just like you want. Okay. Okay, so you can turn the wreath like this and place the bow here. Or you can turn it like this and place the bow here. So which way do you prefer? Okay guys, I don't know how well my pipe cleaner is going to thread through this lemon placemat, so I may have to take a piece of floral stem wire and wrap around the bow before I can get it to thread through, but we're gonna go ahead and try it with the pipe cleaners just like it is. So I'm just gonna make sure that I find the splatter screen, and I'm gonna see, I think this is too tight. I think it's not gonna work, so I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of floral stem wire right now. Okay guys, I'm just gonna trim this, not too short, but I'm gonna trim it shorter. 
And now you can hot glue the bow on if you would like, if you do not want to wire it on. Okay, so you can take your pipe cleaner and kind of lift it up off of your bow and then wrap your floral stem wire tightly around the pipe cleaner and give it a few twists. Okay, so this is where I twisted the pipe cleaner and so this is where I put the wire, so just above where I twisted it. And now I can take the floral stem wire and thread it through the splatter screen. And then go to the back and give it a few twists. If you cannot get your bow wired on, just remember it's lightweight, so just hot glue it on, then let it dry. Now to hang the splatter screen wreath, I'm just going to take a piece of floral stem wire, and it just depends on you know how you want your lemon to hang, but I want mine, I think, like this. So I'm just going to take my floral stem wire and just thread it through the splatter screen, and then make a loop, give it a few twists, so that's how I hang up my splatter screen wreaths. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.